you know Gumball Watterson from The Amazing World of Gumball. He's an icon, a super saiyan, a time traveler, and a JoJo reference. You know, your fellow average 12-year-old. But most recognizably, he's a cat. I mean, you read the title and you probably know where this is going. Well, today, he shall reject his humanity and return to cat. <laughs> Before Gumball can return to cats, we must understand anatomy first. His current anatomy is based on his cartoon art style, which is anthropomorphized. So, I did research on Google of real cat anatomy, and here's some distinct details about what I found. Cats have extra-long lumbar and thoracic vertebrae in ratio compared to a human spine. And what this means is that the, these parts of the spine are what makes a cat extremely flexible. Cat's shoulder blades are not anchored to the sternum of the clavicle, like the human shoulder blades and collarbones are. This allows cats to have a wider range of motion and allows them to squeeze through tight spaces easily. Cats have digitigrade legs, which means they walk on what is considered their toes or paws. Humans have plantigrade legs, which means they walk on the soles and toes of their feet. Digitigrade animals are typically able to move much more faster and quietly than plantigrade animals because of the extra leverage in the ankles which provide an extra spring in each step. So each step feels lightweight and treads lightly. While plantigrade animals don't have that extra boost, so they have to lift each step with more weight. The reason I mention these facts is because... I'm going to redraw Gumball with realistic cat proportions, just as the title implies. So I'm just going to briefly explain the process right now. So first, I've got an image of Gumball here along with references of cats. Then I sketched some thin outlines on both the realistic cat and Gumball. Then I shaded separate body parts in specific colors so I can pinpoint where certain bones and tissue are as I'm drawing. Then, finally, I downloaded an image of a cat standing, and it is time to sketch. So far, you're probably thinking, there's no purpose for this video to ever exist. You're just comparing real-life cats to Gumball. But here's the thing. I didn't just want you, the viewer, to just sit there and watch me draw for an hour straight. Basically, I just made this video more interesting than it would have been. I also wanted to draw real life Darwin, but then this video would be much longer because I would be talking about anatomy of aquatic creatures. But that's all there is to say about this video. I don't guarantee every detail is actually accurate to Cat's anatomy. I'm not an expert on cats, nor do I own a pet cat. So, what do I think? It's honestly not as bad as I thought. But as your therapist, I will tell you, realistic Gumball is not real, so he definitely cannot hurt you. 